If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. To open a navigation center in Sage 50 Accounting after opening a company file, click the button in the navigation bar for the name of the navigation center to open. Sage 50 Premium Accounting contains buttons for the business status, customers and sales, vendors and purchases, inventory and services, employees and payroll, banking, payment center, apps and services, and system navigation centers. To perform standard tasks related to the current navigation center, use the buttons in the navigation center toolbar at the top of any navigation center. To choose which Navigation Center page to show by default when you open the current Sage 50 company file, open the Navigation Center to set as the default Navigation Center page. Then click the Default button within the toolbar at the top of the Navigation Center. The button then appears highlighted in a blue color after setting it as the default page. To show or hide the content of the currently displayed Navigation Center, click the leftmost button in the Navigation Center's toolbar. This is a toggle button that reads either Show or Hide. Click it to toggle the display of the content within the Navigation Center on or off. You may notice a slight pause when you click the name of a Navigation Center in the Navigation Bar. This is because when you open a navigation center, Sage 50 refreshes the data shown within it to reflect any changes to the data. To manually force a refresh of the data shown in any navigation center, click the Refresh button in the Navigation Center toolbar at the top of the window. To check for news and information from Sage, click the Inbox button towards the right side of the Navigation Center toolbar to open a Feed and Preferences pane at the right side of the window. To close this pane, click the X button in its upper right corner. You can also change the system date using the Navigation Center toolbar. The system date is a very important date. This is the default date for any transactions you enter within the currently selected accounting period. If you select a system date that falls outside of the currently selected accounting period, then all transactions you enter have a default date value of the first date within the selected accounting period, ignoring the system date altogether. To set the system date in Sage 50 Accounting, click the System Date button towards the right end of the Navigation Center toolbar. In the Change System Date dialog box that appears, Set the system date by clicking the small calendar selector at the right end of the displayed date and then choosing a date from the calendar dropdown. After setting the desired system date, then click the OK button to confirm your selection. To set the accounting period for data entry in Sage 50 Accounting, click the period button at the right end of the Navigation Center toolbar. In the Change Accounting Period dialog box that appears, select the accounting period for which to perform data entry. Then click the OK button to set the selected accounting period. To perform related tasks in each Navigation Center, click the Buttons shown in the Navigation Center window, and then choose a command to perform from the resultant drop-down menu if necessary. This replicates the functionality of the commands in the menu bar by using a graphic interface. You can also view the relationship between tasks within Sage 50 by examining the graphic interface. For new users, this helps you perform tasks in the correct order. For example, within the Customers and Sales Navigation Center, you can see that you should set up Customers, Jobs, and Sales Taxes before creating invoices. In addition to tasks, you can also view associated lists of information 
and recent reports by clicking the available buttons in all the navigation centers. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.